Hey friends, welcome back to Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. And look what we have for you here today. We have this incredible complete set, these four Lego sets of Spidey and his amazing friends. And it's so cool. We have Miles, we have Peter, we have Gwen, Gobby, and tons of other great minifigs and vehicles and builds. And you're not gonna wanna miss this. You're gonna wanna check this out. And so these just dropped with the new year. And the big set just came out like yesterday or today. So I'm excited to show you what these look like. There's even Tracy, look at that. Here's a closer version right here because I really like Tracy. And so guys, before we get started, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you're notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of these cool play sets. And yeah, give us a big thumbs up. So I did include uh, just a moment ago where the times are for these sets you can jump to one if you want to see it specifically And so what do you say we go ahead and get started right? Now What is up Vincent Gigi? Vincent Gigi? Super Channel G. Super Channel G. GG. Vincent GG from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent GG on Super Channel G. So tight. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV. On Super Channel G. God, is this great! All right, friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G, and I'm so excited to finally take a look at these Marvel Spidey and his amazing friends Lego sets. All four of them are here, and let's take a closer look to see what exactly is in this complete set. So first off, we have Spider-Man's Techno Trike, and it's pretty cool because it has Miles Morales as uh, Spider-Man with... Uh, Green Goblin right here, also known as Gobby and also known as Spin, and it looks pretty cool. Got this like jet propelled um, three wheeler right here, and then of course Green Goblin with his glider. That looks cool. Take a look on the back here. It'll give you a clear picture of what we have and how cool this build is, right? And then of course it shows Green Goblin with a second facial expression on on his minifig face. We also have. Hulk versus Rhino Truck Showdown. And both these vehicles are actually kind of cool. And I'm digging how Spider-Man right here has this like jet propelled glider. And they're, I'm, I guess, fighting over this little jewel hideaway right here and this hot dog that got tossed in the trash. But this Rhino, Spidey, and Hulk minifigs, those are really cool. Check that out. And then here on the back, um, actually gives you a, a closer look at what this Rhino truck is and then of course this one right here that Hulk drives so that's everything that's in there then we're gonna come across to here and find spider-man at Doc Ock's lab and we have Spidey we have ghost spider with Gwen and then if you'll notice we also have Tracy right here and of course Doc Ock so these are our three minifigs plus our Tracy and check out this little mini lab with them um, with this claw arm right here and then this spider vehicle. Look at that, it looks like a race car and does have a spoiler. And we have these canisters right here that have who knows what in there, but one is like half empty, half full right there. And so that looks cool. And last but not least, and this was the last one we were, that uh, we had to get and they weren't selling it right off the bat like the other ones. We have Spider-Man's Web Quarters Hangout and here, we have Spidey, we have Miles or Spin, and um, Ghost Spider. So we have all three of the Spider team right there. And we also have Ms. Marvel and Green Goblin. And then look at that, Tracy right there as well. So here's a better look at these minifigs. And it's uh, kind of cool how uh, they did make them shorter with these shorter legs. Not so short that they don't move like on the Harry Potter ones when they were kids. Um, but you know it only takes up like one and a half of the pegs for lego versus two and you know it's kind of neat the sizing wasn't used to seeing that so here's everybody that comes in this set and it wasn't until i built it that i 
found out that this fits in there because they didn't show it anywhere on here. So that's really cool when we take a closer look right there. And um, look how these two webs can actually come together to make a little prison right there for a Green Goblin. Look at this cool guitar and keyboard right there for Ghost Spider. And then look at um, Mr. Picasso over here. We have Miles becoming a painter. and So that looks awesome. So let's go ahead and jump right on in to our first set. Which one do you want to take a look at first? Um, you tell me. Let's jump on into this Spider-Man's Techno Trike. What do you say? All right. Let me get just a little bit closer here. And let's get just a little bit of closer look at this Lego set. And of course, the artwork is awesome. This is from the Disney Junior Show. We have our Spidey team right there. And um, here's the logo from Spidey and his amazing friends. And so uh, the other day I was watching some of the episodes on this and I hadn't seen them yet. So got a little bit more familiar with the characters that are in this show. And obviously it's cool to have all three of these um, Spider um, friends uh, team from the Spider-Verse. So look at this, Miles. Looks cool, of course we call him Spin in the show. And here he is shooting the web out at Gobby. And yeah, okay. So let's get those figures on out here. Get this just a little bit closer. Okay, so here we have everybody in this set. And let's take a close look at our minifigs. So here we have Spin. And here we are right here. And you know what? I'd like to compare them to a previous Miles because this is a different version. But I'm loving that spider symbol right there. And this one that's different on the back right here because it's like the spider coming down from the ceiling. And then look at this web right here on the back of his head. And then like I mentioned before, these legs, when he's sitting, do not cover a full two pegs of, of the brick because they are shorter. But look how cool he looks. Definitely digging that. And then of course he has this to be able to, to web the bad guys. So let me see, give me a second. So here is this Miles from the 2018 sets. Notice how he is definitely taller. Look at that. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's just the legs that make him taller, but different face and different um, print on the body. Look at that. So just so we can compare these two miles. Okay. All right, set him aside. And let's take a look at our Green Goblin. This Green Goblin uh, looks pretty cool. He's actually the same height as well. And has this pumpkin right here so that he can throw that there at, at, at a, the Spidey team. And take him off of this glider. Look at this. Very cool. And we do have a second face print right there so we can have him kind of worried. Look at that. Ears are attached to, the, to his hood. He's got this cool green and then the same thing, the shorter legs. Pretty neat little build. And then I did want to show you also compare this to the 2018 figure. This is the 2018 uh, Green Goblin little glider. And of course compare him in height to this one. Look at that. Definitely taller and has uh, more detail on his outfit. Look at that. Cool. All right, this was a little more basic, obviously, on this one. There we go. And then the exploding pumpkins did look more like this. So, when I say more like this, here's one. <laughs> All right, so let me set that aside. And we can take a look at this vehicle. So we have this techno trike, right? And looks pretty cool. It's not a ton of pieces, made it actually pretty easy to build. 
And then look at these like rocket boosters right there. It's cool how you can um, point them in uh, different directions. And that goes right on here. Oops, I knocked it off on accident. There we are. Oh, that's why, because it hit right there. I was like, how did I pop that off so easy? That's why. Okay, got the flame coming out here in the back. And the wheels, they, they're they pretty smooth as they turn. These are bigger ones than the one in the back. And my buddy Spin can stand right on over here and look super cool. Look at that. So it's everybody in the set. And yeah, that looks awesome. And we, if we want, we could actually clip this on right here, which not a whole lot of reason to, but just letting you know we could if we wanted to. Okay, cool. So let's move on to our next set. Set this aside. And so next, we do have Hulk versus Rhino Truck Showdown, and Here's everybody in the set. There are three minifigs with Rhino, Spidey, and Hulk. Look at that. And this is a pretty mean looking truck. This armored Rhino right here. And then we have this Hulk truck right here with the two smashing fists. I don't know how I feel about those smashing fists, but either way, they keep the theme going. And then Spidey with like this gliding rocket pack on his back. So, um, looks like Rhino's trying to knock over and steal this little jewel. I don't know, little. Um, safe or whatever this is right here with a gold bar and then he accidentally knocked over this trash can with a uneaten hot dog and here's everything that is in this set it's cool how they line up everything nice and neat and yeah there we go the Spidey's throwing this web that attaches just like we showed on the last one right there and he's holding a jewel right here that he went, went ahead and stole and um, as we learned this you have to lie it down to push it in the back of the truck so Let's go ahead and get everything out here so we can take a look at everything in this set. So. Okay, cool. So here's everybody and everything in this set. And let's take a look at our minifigs. So, we have Spidey, of course, if we can get him in focus. And so he's got this little glider pack on. That he's actually stand oops that he's actually standing on and not uh, oh my gosh he really rolled all the way underneath my seat <laughs> but um he definitely has those shorter legs as well because um obviously they're very much younger in this show i really like the way this spider symbol looks right here and the one on the front looks awesome too look at that i love the way they did the eyes and the web on, on the print on this little mini fig, so that looks great. And then again, this can go right on here. And it's not really attached on his back, he's just kind of standing on it and attaches to the feet. So we can actually push this and shoots it out. It doesn't really shoot out very far, but it does, and there's a little bit of tension here so that they click in there. And so you see how that works out there. Okay. We have a trash can to just have a little bit of accessories that make it a scene with a hot dog a wiener comes out of the buns clicks right on in and it has it right here in the trash however spider-man could be spidey could be holding the hot dog and deciding he's hungry and wants to eat it or anybody i guess could for example we have hulk and rhino here but we do have this little like safe for security here. Look at this. And this little build right here has it so that this slides out and in. And then the clear door opens up and we have a big, this huge ruby or jewel that we have here. And this bar of gold, something so that Rhino can try and steal. And they can hold both these things. Just to show you, here's Rhino. And so this can be held like this, for example, and like this. There we go. I'll put this back over here. Clicks to close. And here's Rhino. And Rhino, you can't really turn his head because of this. Now you could turn it without the helmet. 
but since it's also shorter pads, um, we're not able to turn that. He does not have another face print, so it's just that because rhino horns look kind of cool. His arms come up to here, so obviously he can't go further than that. When he go, puts them back, it actually like pushes this up. So um, I do like the color of his suit. I like this little print right here. All that looks cool. And then, um, and here's Hulk. Now I don't know how I feel about this hair, where it's this very modern looking trendy hair but either way it's a little different and then we also have this face print right here which again what's going on with his mouth don't know why it's doing like that but there we are he's got more of a smirk here and then angry eyes uh, eyebrows on both okay he's definitely give him a buff body print and he's a full size on the legs so him and rhino yes full size however compare him to Spidey and look see that way you can see that he's taller and Spidey shorter than all of them cool and then here we are we do have Hulk's truck and because when Hulk seated he does take up you know a total of four with two going back you can sit right here and this supercharged truck, look at that. I love how these look like mufflers over here on the side or some sort of exhaust. These can turn if you like, fist bumping. But um, anyway, these are kind of like, um, they're exactly the hands that would go on those larger figs, but the legs and so on don't really move. But um, the base is really one big piece and the purple and the green obviously go very well together. So that's how that looks. And we could, if we want to, um, have all of a sudden I can't find it there. This little web that goes right here. This could attach here. As if he had shot that web. And now let's look at Rhino's truck, which obviously this web could attach here too. Oop! I'm ripping the whole thing off. Look at that. There we are. So this Rhino truck looks pretty cool actually and then it has this bendy part for a horn I like the way the eyes look the decals are great the only thing that's interesting is that these are standard brick pieces instead of tires so it doesn't get the traction that this one does see this one kind of slides and glides more but the wheels do spin pretty well look at that um, look at that control module that looks cool and again, like we mentioned this, to put it in here, it has a little gate, little door right here. You can slide this in like that, for example, and then just close it there. So you can have your little action sequence of that being stolen. It does not fit like this. It, you'd have to lift this up, put this on there, and push all the way down and then there, but then you can't slide it up. So Rhino, I think he does have to stand to be able to do this because it's too high to be able to sit down there and still use these pads but either way that looks cool look at that pretty neat and that is everything that's in this set as I mentioned before these can shoot out they don't go very far but they do okay let's move on to the next set Okay, on this next set, we have Spider-Man at Doc Ock's, uh, Doc Ock's lab. It sounded weird for a second. And here are the minifigs that come in this set, and they all look really cool. We do get another Spidey, and we get Ghost Spider. And Tracy comes in this set, and it's a cool little lab. and has this little robotic arm, and I'm digging this little um, uh, mech that she's moving around in here in this little like laser looking deal so that looks cool and this vehicle is actually a lot cooler than I anticipated actually so the build is really ni nice and uh, neat here we are we have web that uh, Ghost Spider has and yeah it's really cool and of course Tracy always looks really cool this build is is uh, these pieces make it real easy and convenient to be able to build and oops I thought I would still be able to zoom out a little bit more. There we go. And Doc Ock looks actually really cool. And I didn't remember her being short like these other ones, but 
Um, maybe so, because she has the same size legs as them. And these two canisters, it's cool how they're not just identical, but this one's like, like used up whatever's in there. Whether it's energy or acid or toxic waste, whatever, looks cool. And then this little chamber right here where I don't know what she's doing, Tracy, duplicating her or something. But anyway, let's take a look. Let's get them on out here. Set this up right here. Okay, so we got everything set up here that comes in this set. And let's take a closer look at our minifigs. Now, this is going to be the same Spidey that we just took a look at. So it is cool because if you can only get one set or one of the sets, you can definitely have great odds of getting Spidey. And I'm like, does this Spidey come with a web? I guess he doesn't. Interesting. But we do get to have Tracy here. Look at this. And this was something that was exciting for me because Tracy is one of my favorite characters in the whole show. Look at that. So, you know what? I haven't compared the size of Spider-Man. So let me show you that. Here is this Spider-Man from um, the 2018 sets. Look at that. And obviously there is an obvious height difference. And look at the webbing is tighter and neater on that. But I do like the eyes on this um, face print. And then look at the spider symbol on the back. Looks more like a sun on this one. This one looks more classic. And yeah, look at the, the, back, the webbing on the back. Looks more grid here. But I like both um, minifigs for different reasons. So that's super cool. So let me put this Spider-Man back over here. And look at Spidey's vehicle. So I'm, I am digging this. It looks really sporty. Look at that. I like that it has an actual spoiler right here. It would have been cool to have had something on the back here since there is something on the front. But um, these spider legs do move up and down if you'd like them to. And even if they weren't on there, it would look really cool in like this race car. So digging that. Put these back on. And yeah, looks really cool. And then slightly reminiscent to the vehicle that we had from the 2018 set. This is the Spider-Man we just looked at. So look at that. This one's more dune buggy style, where this one is more race car style. So set that aside. And yeah, put this over here. Ready to a look at Tracy. Now let's look at our Doc Ock in her lab. This Doc Ock looks really cool actually and I'm digging the way they did her hair. Would have been cool to have a little bit more action going on here like something just maybe even just a little groove so it wasn't just be flat over here but either way it looks cool. I'm digging the, the face that they give us right here because that looks cool with the visor over her eyes. I'm digging these um, octopus tentacles that we have going on here. And again, she does have the shorter legs, so that's interesting. The colors look cool, the expression she has, everything looks cool. And this looks kind of like, this is very reminiscent of the, um, uh, the, I was like, why couldn't I ever think of the word Outriders on um, Infinity War, those beasts that came with all those arms that, that that's what the build looked like for them. And so, um, Let's see, do I have one right here to compare it? You know I do. So look at that. Now, it's essentially the same little deal going on. Look at that. But with different pieces of these. So, very cool. And let's see the other Doc Ock. This was the Doc Ock from the 2018 sets. Look at that. It's definitely got that, like, chili bowl muffin looking hairdo and yep pretty much the same deal going on look at that and the yellow gloves and everything cooler visor though so there we are Put that aside and one of these canisters right here I like how this looks like it's halfway empty it looks cool so it's not just redundant and then she has her little walking little mech right here now we can raise these up and it looks kind of like lasers or something that's going to shoot out. 
Look at this control panel, that looks cool. Little targeting system and so on. And then these legs, they do bend out. Look at that. But, and then the feet, they can move a little bit. Look at that. So the joints are only there and there. So that's cool. And then because it has this, of course, we can also attach the web again, right? So, to me, ooh, sorry, I gotta reach over here for it. So that we can capture her by going, Dish. do that. And interestingly enough, they have this. So instead of her being able to attach because it's got two little pegs from the brick, Interesting that she can only sit on it or stand on it, literally. But, um, so that was different than the other ones. But cool looking mech. And then we have the actual little lab. So the lab looks cool. Maybe this is a little too far this way. I'm like, hmm. Nope, it goes exactly right there. But, um,. Yeah, because it's got those four pieces just for it. But um, this can, this arm is kind of neat how it articulates. There we go, it spins here and then it bends here, here, and here. And then this little lab right here, we have this printout that shows Tracy right there and doesn't tell us exactly what's going on. We can kind of make up our own story. But the door opens there and looks like, I don't know, Trying to get something out of her, trying to duplicate her, replicate her, who knows. They can put Tracy right there. Close that and then lock it by spinning that, which it doesn't really lock, I'm using my imagination. And there we go. So that's really cool and of course you can put these wherever you want. If you even want them on here. Look at that. And so there's our Spidey swinging into action. and. I like the way this looks. I like this little decal. Well, I guess it's not a decal, but um, the little print they have right here for those octopus tentacles. And don't know exactly what it's warning or it's just a symbol, but looks cool. And yeah, this little light right here. So this set looks really cool as well. So let's move on to our last set. Give me a second. You know, my bad. I totally messed up. Said our next set, but we do have a ghost spider here and never set her up. And so that's my fault. And she actually looks pretty cool. Same size and I'm like, well, I messed up somewhere. If I already showed her, forgive me, but here we are again. And so she comes with this really cool pink looking web. It's the exact same thing as what Miles and um, Spidey will spin and Spidey are gonna do. And it's cool how they have their own themed color. So that's the case right there. And yeah, so we'll take a look at that again in a second. But I'm like, hmm, I almost messed the whole thing up because I definitely wanted this to be right here with it. So this is what it looks like. Um, this minifig, got that spider symbol right there. And so she's the same height as Spidey, got those same height legs. And I also wanted to compare her to um, the one from the 2018 sets because look at this ghost spider right here, look at that. Which had more hints of that pink and blue and then with, with, with black on it, and there we go. I, I like these two figs for different reasons. And of course we have um, the print on here which gives a body sculpt right there. And this cool little hoverboard is actually really cool looking. It this fires these things out. So this was a really cool concept. And of course you can see the height difference is very apparent. So same hood, but different um, face print as well. So, sorry I almost missed that. All right, and last but not least, I'm gonna have to zoom out here. We have Spider-Man Web Quarters Hangout, and we have another ghost spider right here, but this time with a vehicle. We have Spidey again also with this web. We have Spin right here, Miles Morales, with his web right here. Looks like he's attaching it to this um, Green Goblin, this Gobby vehicle right here, which this actually fits in there really well. And uh, again, it never shows it in there, so I was surprised to find out on the bill that that's actually where it goes. Here's our minifigs. There's Miles Morales, Ms. Marvel, Spidey, Ghost Spider, and Gobby. And there we are, this little table right here with a couple pizzas. There's a basketball goal with a basketball. 
And um, yeah, this pumpkin looks even cooler with this coming out here. There's Tracy and the screen. It's just got all this great stuff going on. Look at that guitar, Ms. Marvel. There's everything in this set. Cool how it has it arranged. And yeah, there we go. There's the vehicle build. And look how it has Miles over here with his being a renaissance man and I didn't know that these uh, webs right here could attach if you have the opposite sides so that's cool I'll make a little little gel from a little prism for to capture him and there's Tracy and then look we have a little studio for um, Ghost Spider to be jamming out so Miles can be painting she can be jamming and then we can have Spidey getting his skate on alright so let's get everything out here at this setup so that we can take a look at everything. Give me one second. Okay, well here we go. So we got everybody and everything in this set. And I'm excited to take a closer look and let's take a look at our mini figs first. So again, we have our Spider-Man, our Spidey. He looks cool. It's the same one, so it's the third time we get him. But this one uh, comes with a skateboard so we can definitely have any of our minifigs on here and it looks cool I actually have him for that like this we can have him sideways so on and so forth and it does roll not a whole lot but it does roll so that's cool and then we do have this web right here that's shot out and then we can capture Cool. So we have Miles again, except this Miles has accessories so that he can be painting. So he thinks he's Bob Ross, channeling his inner Bob Ross or Picasso right there. So it looks cool. It's the same minifig that we got before, but this time with these accessories. And he does have this that he's painting. Look. So that's cool. And he's got his Spidey team right there. So that goes right on over there. We have Ms. Marvel, who doesn't have a lot going on. Um, she looks cool. She's got two different um, face prints. So that's cool. And um, yeah, no real accessories. She's the same height as our friends here because she's got the short legs and um, got her little symbol right there. But she just kind of chills out by the pizzas. Look at this, this little table that we got, with the pizzas and, um, and the mug. So definitely this pizza party rocking on right here. Look at that. Cool. All right. And we have now Ghost Spider. Same one we just looked at basically. And looks really cool. But this one comes with a rock guitar. Look at this. It's really awesome. And this guitar you can actually hold it like this. Look at that. So that's cool. You can hold it like this. That's cool. And of course, you can also do it like this so she can hold it across her body that way. Look at that. Like it, oof. It's hard to turn the hand. But as if she's holding a pick. So that looks great. And then she also has these here. Look at this little keyboard and this little amp right here with music notes coming out so she can be rocking out hard. Look at that. So she has her first vehicle in this set here, and it's got these same spider legs going on right here that can move up and down in a similar way as the set we just looked at. It's got this cool little build right here, and this almost looks like hovercraft or perhaps would be for an underwater sea Lego set, but um, these do turn, and if you blow on them, they will spin. There we go. And so it looks really cool. She can only stand because it has it like that versus sitting, which that's quite all right. Look at that. So it's cool. Looks awesome. Yeah. This little build right here looks cool. Okay. Now we haven't looked at, um, well, we'll get to this in a second. Here is our Green Goblin again. So we got Gobby again with two faces. So these are minifigs basically that we've already had except for Ms. Marvel. But 
this gobby has this exploding pumpkin right here and has a cooler topping on it so it shows it's kind of like smoking out it's this little like french curves going on and i like that it's clear because it could just be like trailing as, as you throw it or some sort of smoke or something coming out so it looks way cool and then we have this glider right here which is almost the same thing as a previous glider so i was like how come it doesn't have a front because it's oops wrong one wrong here we are it's the same glider except it has this one has one more piece that would have that coming out here and instead of a blue just one by two small this one has one that you can hook on there which obviously would be so that we can do this for example now the reason why this one doesn't have this and this if you notice if I take him off it's still green underneath just like that one the reason why it doesn't have this extra piece right here which I'm glad is because He's got his own green goblin vehicle, which you can't really tell if it's coming or going when you look at it like this because it's, it's perfectly symmetrical. However, this goes right on in here and makes it a vehicle. Look at that. So that looks cool. Look at that. And so he can just be flying, uh, driving and then flying right at us. So that makes this vehicle even cooler. So I like the way they did that and that makes a lot of sense even though they never show it like that. Same thing here. This part can be clipped onto here to like catch him. And then right here for miles, this is where we can clip that on there, clip this on here. And we have a little something to trap him in, capture him. So if we get rid of this, we can just put this right here. Just like we saw in the picture. This right here. And boom, our gameplay is captured. Look at that. Cool. And Miles has the red one. So put this back right here. That's cool. And let's take a look at our web quarters. So our web quarters is cool. I'm actually gonna bring this along with us. We have this, which is the top that we've seen obviously on the show look at this um, screen right here which is like from surveillance video but it's got a, a video game controller where they also play here We're looking up his file and he's obviously intruding he's got a couple slides right here and this is where Gwen would be jamming out this is where Miles would be hanging out doing his painting we got some slides here for fun and we got a basketball court that's actually a little bit squishier more flexible than I thought oh and we got Tracy hiding right here look at this before I forget so in case you didn't get the other set we got this Tracy comes with this one as well and then we have this right here so that we can maybe put away some of that stuff and also this Lego which is gonna be the basketball and uh, as I was saying um, on a previous video I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a Lego ball? I'm surprised because why doesn't it have something on the bottom so that it could maybe be part of the, the system build, right? The Lego system. There's nothing on it they can hold. There's nothing on it. So I thought this was pretty wild that it's like so radically on its own. And if they've done this before, I've never seen it. So it's cool because it's a, you know, full-blown ball. But interesting that it doesn't have something like this on the bottom or maybe even just a flat piece so that we could have this being held so anyway i was trying to make this earlier and it's harder than it looks even though i just totally nailed that shot right there and oof, i was hoping to at least make two before oh before i moved on or before i lost it here we go. Oh, one more. Way off. Oh, that one rimmed up. That one rimmed up. There we go. Okay. So I'll put this away right here. And what do you think of the, oh, there's one more here. There's just like a little ramp, I guess just for fun. So we can just have something to play with. It doesn't really stay, but um, we do have that. 
And then of course, just for fun, we have these ramps that can be like So that's cool. Oops, you didn't need to knock over Gwen's guitar. So what do you think? I'd like to get everything out here and just kind of set everything up so we can see everything that came here. So give me a second, guys. All right, so here we go. The entire set, all in one place, set up nice and neat. We have multiple of several of the figures. Like, we have, of course, we have Tracy twice. Look at that. And then we have our Doc Ock Lab. We have our Hulk versus Rhino Truck Showdown. We have our Web Quarters. And, of course, we have Miles' Trike right here, Techno Trike. And so all of these figs are really cool. These builds were fun. And these vehicles made it even cooler. The accessories are pretty neat as well. And so, yeah. So guys, I wanna thank you for hanging out with us here today. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next so you get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of these sets. Do you think they're awesome like we do? And yeah, check back on our YouTube channel for more great videos like this. And the other mini fix that I was showing you was on a previous collection that um, in 2018 that I'll try and put in the comments section below the link to that. So guys, thank you for watching us and we can't wait to see you on our next video. Thanks for watching Vincent GD's Super Channel G. Peace.